Hello everybody, it's a Cockney Colonel here again. Got uh, quite a good jump on this week's auction again, which is lucky. Got the girls working great and Mitch there. Gracie and Marty done a great job this week, setting everything up. So we're nearly there, nearly completed. A couple of things have still got to be lighted up, but as usual, I'll give you a quick buzz round. Load of pictures online with the descriptions up there, so make sure you check all that out. Just want to tell you, the furniture, right? Look at this dining set. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chairs, right? Two leaves in there, all right? Matching hutch. Really nice. You guys have got to come and realise how cheap this furniture is going for. If you know anybody or yourself is looking for like dining set, hutch, there's a nice sofa behind there. There's a nice big entertainment centre there, which would take a big TV, so that's great. That display cabinet we didn't get to last week. Really nice decorative mirror, right? A nice unusual coat stand over there, right? And let me show you, right? Let me give you an example of what you're missing out on by not coming. You see that sofa there, right? We sold an identical one to that sofa, double recliner, right? Great condition, all right? We sold it two weeks ago, one that was exactly the same as this one, for $20, $20. So, you or anybody you know needs a sofa, it's got a matching love seat. I can't guarantee this time it's gonna go for $20, because hopefully more people are gonna come and wanna buy it. So it might go for $25, all right? But stop being donuts, get down here, pick up some furniture, you're all paying fortunes for it at the estate sales that the missus does, and then I'm having to give it away. So come and get some of the nice stuff. Right, I'm gonna take you around, right? We've got a nice little uh, couple of chairs there for outside on a patio, all right? With a little sort of uh, stone top table, all right? And then we're just kind of finishing off this lot in here, all right? But boxes of CDs, I know you guys, the resellers, love the CDs, tons of CDs in there. Some tool, you know what I am with the tools. It's uh, some sort of table saw or something by the looks of it, looks pretty meaty, right? And then here we go, Rambo, right? All you got here, right? You can be Rambo as much as you like. More gun cases, right? Actual bullet things for a Winchester 20 gauge or something, two and three quarter inches, 12,000 FPS velocity, whatever that means, all right? Some nice knives, all right? I know you guys love the knives, right? And sort of big old hatchet things in there, all right? And then I suppose these are what you put your bullets in. And then it goes in the bottom of your gun or something, yeah? So anyway, come and Rambo yourself out. Come and get all your gear. Xbox. Got grandkids, you know, guinea kids. Got a whole stack of games, right? Loads of the games of it. Some expansion pack, memory expansion pack apparently. And headphones and joysticks and power units and other sort of stuff. It all goes with the Xbox. So that's going to be popular. We're still lotting up the costume jewellery. And I do have some gold and silver um, that I've still got to find and pull out and get on display. So this will be lotted out a little bit, all right, once we have a chance to spend some time on that there. A couple of nice vintage pieces this week. Some nice, uh, couple of old vintage cameras in there with the old flash bulb thing and some other um, little photography uh, unit in there. Nice little um, vintage, you know, um, tape recorder thing there in great condition as well. All right, and a speaker remote control box and some slide sort of thing um, with some more tapes and other bits and pieces in it. All right, so that's cool. I can't get away from the dolls, can I? Every week somebody brings in dolls. So these little fellas were chasing me around earlier. I had to really run fast and I went outside because I thought they were going to, like, you know, like the zombies come and eat me. Toaster, sunbeam. Apparently it's worth about $80. Yeah, and it does two slices of bread, and it's eighty dollars. Bananas, still. I'm sure it'll go for cheap. All right. This thing is an electronic, cold hot serving tray. Right. Okay. So, Urbina Design or something like that. Urbina, something like that design. All right. I think that's a couple of hundred dollars or so. Right. Crazy. So nice Noritaki china set there, the white stuff. So that's going to be quite popular. Four horsey little muggies. All right, and some little horsey sign, so I know that'll be uh, right up somebody's street as well. Um, a little vintage of yarny stuff in there. Quite a cool surround system, all right? Quite a mega one, actually. Mirage, like the old hotel out in Vegas. All right, so it comes with this, like, 
hi-fi stereo system and amp and DVD, five DVD player and changer and all sorts and the tower speakers with it as well. All right, there's another nice decorative mirror over there. Oh, I'll show you these. Guy brought them in, he said, I only use them for one season. So we've got two of them. Um, they're like window air conditioning units. So you stick it out the window, yeah, and makes the room nice and cold. Probably gonna have to work out a way of having them in here because it can get a little bit toasty in here. Get a little bit warm, you know? So let's show you down in the main area. Got a really cool New Yorker poster, right? Apparently it's an original 1976 Saul Steinberg, the New Yorker poster is rare and iconic. It must be because it says so on the little label that the chappy made. All right, so I'm sure that's gonna be popular. These things, he says are fragile. Oh, I mean fragile, don't I? Fragile, right, scientific American, all right? So these look quite nice, whatever they are, but they're scientific American paper things, you know, little magazine-y things. Brought in quite a lot, the geezer did, of some original World War II German soldiers. All right, photos of the German soldiers from World War II. So it's one, two, three, four, five, that's seven lots of them. All right, so I know these are always kind of popular. All right, and I said, I hope this thing Right, I said, I hope some donut don't come in here, pull the pin out, and it just goes bang. Because it's an hand grenade. I mean, geez, I've now got to set an hand grenade. So I hope there's nothing wrong with that. Some picture of some cute little girl with a dog. All right, they're vintage ink blotters. Everybody needs vintage ink blotters, don't they? And vintage invoices and other items. You know, I'm sure that can uh, go well, making up some stuff that you want to make. Some more of that 1933 Southern California earthquake original photos there. A uh, lot of military trains, all right, postcard, lot of military trains. There's a photo album of trains in there. Um, I won't kind of show you all of them, but there is quite a selection going through in there, all right, all the different pictures of the trains, the old black and white pictures. So they'll be popular. Um, some little clocks, all right, so I know the clocks are always popular. So a few little clocks there. Let me just show you the one at the back, little carriage clock. All right, there's a Howard Miller sort of mantle clock at the back there as well. And then look at this. Wow, look at that. Apparently it's a clock case. All right, so there's no clock in it, but it looks like Roman or something, you know, like Italian. Yeah, but I think it's got French writing on it. But you know, French, Italian, what's the difference, eh? You know, they're all from the same sort of place, isn't it? Over that pond, you know. Used to uh, run England at some point or another. More little nursey stuff, all right? Lady was a nurse for the civil defense, apparently. So there's a nice little lot of nursey stuff. All right, little choo-choo train, W and A-L-R, whatever that's about, all right? And then some nice little glasses of Tweety Pie and uh, Sylvester and um, Ducky Duck or whatever it is, 1973 Warner Brother, Pepsi Looney Tune glasses. So I'm sure they'll be popular. Everybody loves the old cop rules, don't they? So I'm sure the cop will be popular as well. All right, nice little frame picture of some black zoo, must have been a film or something like that. Geese are getting eaten by a lion. That don't look like fun. I'd rather him than me. Um, nice little cedar chest we'll have in here. So yeah, cedar chest has got to go. Nice little golf bag, uh, modern carrier there. And we've got the old, um, mine's gone blank. You know what it is, I haven't got to tell you. Baker's rack, right? Yeah, wow, mine went blank, couldn't even think of it. Right, it's a super nice photo lot. Kids pedal track bike, so little kitty uh, pictures in there. Some more old pictures in there, all right. Some vintage deeds. Yeah, vintage deeds, all right? So old bits of paper, basically. Robbie loves all that kind of stuff, it's crazy. Native American Indian squaw dress from South Dakota. So if you fancy yourself as a bit of an Indian, all right, you know, one of the original Americans, then, you know, you can come and buy this thing, can't you? Some vintage mug things. Yep, yeah, maps got body shop, you know, shell station. And then the old Mickey, I think this was from 1973 or something like that. A little sort of bust, it's a sort of piggy bank, you know, so put your money in there. Another little vintage lot of little doll things and other sort of bits and pieces in there. Some kind of cool PT-19 flight aeroplane thing, which is kind of cool. Got some really nice home decor items this week. All right, so I keep saying, and Mrs. Poppy keeps telling me off because I keep buzzing right through it, just saying home decor, home decor, home decor. And she's like, I want to see it, I want to see it. So really nice framed little, that's probably Persian or something like that. Um, a little sort of, you know, work in this little art work there. Great little metal sculpture for the wall. All right, I know that's worth a lot of money, that sculpture, it's really nice. And then we've got a kind of reproduction print of a Remington. Guy did tell me what sort of battle it was. 
and there's some geezer on the altar at the front who was famous apparently so I think this is some big famous battle scene that Remington did so that's a print of it all right some nice little pieces of artwork as we go down this is unusual S doig or something I took a picture of it all right so hair and the frogs all right and some other unusual artwork there all right so that's all kind of cool brass rubbings all right so I think this came from England in somewhere it's a brass rubbing of a unicorn by the looks of it and then this piece is unusual it's all these little pieces of wood with writing on that relates in some way to how you row all right so you know rowing that you do in the water like Oxford and Cambridge have their little rowing competition every year over in England all the Americans come over there the Yanks get in the old Cambridge and Oxford and they like love it playing the old rowing all right and uh, have the good little battle but apparently in somehow some way that explains how to learn to row all right so I'll take our word for it because that's what the missus told me nice vintage bank I've seen that geezer before so we've had him a few times all right little snakes this is kind of cool heavy sort of um cast iron whatever he is not cast iron but um yeah maybe cast iron because it's heavy right this uh plane thing it's an astro vintage astro with a plane on it so i reckon that's going to be quite cool it really is pretty heavy all right i reckon that'd be popular now any san diego charger fans have to be a big boy because this jacket is huge you could probably get two of me in there if not three all right so again Gonna show you some there. Marty's been busy this week uh, working with Gracie, setting up for the home decor. Nice clock there. Another nice piece of sort of you know decorative artwork. And then they've laid out you know some really nice home decor kind of items. All right, there's more around the other side that we'll get to. All right, but I know this is going to be popular. We'll lot it up and you know see how we get on with it. Um, but you know some of the old flowers that I love because you haven't got a walk room so you can't kill them They just get a little bit dusty so you give them a blowing over and you can buy that spray I keep telling you about All right, some fish with a towel hanging out of its mouth and a pair of hands Everybody needs a pair of hands, don't they? You know, so life is not measured by the number All right, of breaths we take but the moments that take our breath away All right, that's from a song isn't it? I'm sure that's from a song. I've heard that sort of sung before all right, so home decor, blah, 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 blah. All right, but I am showing you. I'm taking my time. I'm showing you. I'm showing you. All right. Then some glassware. All right. Always popular the glassware, isn't it? Yeah. Some mad stuff over here. Some quilts and a large drawer thing. A flying model kit of a British SE 5A. And then a mad, looks like a record, you know, something that goes on the old stereo that we used to have. All right, a little Exceed truck thing there. A um, few pieces of the home decor, a pink Rolls Royce, classic convertible, all right, Barbie, 20 inch apparently. Some magazines at the back there, I don't really know what's in them, I've not had time to have a look at those, so I don't know what's in them. Um, Mustang, all right, a couple of little kit car things, all right, so, um, you know, just cheaper stuff around there. And then Marty again, done a nice job, all right, of laying out the home decor kind of items, got some great cushions and bed in there. All right, okay, so that all looks very pretty. Couple of nice vases, all right, down there. So they look kind of cool. All right, and then she's done some more towels and linens and stuff like that in the corner. More cushions over there. All right, so it all looks really nice. She's done a really nice job. Her and Gracie together really worked hard and got done a great job here. So really nice, you know, home decor. Come and get, you know, tart up your house a little bit, make it look pretty. You know, I'm sure it looks pretty already, but you know, it can always look prettier, can't it? You know, I'm sure the old man's gonna love you coming and buying all this stuff, but I would appreciate it. Some more kind of Christmas stuff. All right, so some nice half decent Christmas stuff there, which obviously we'll have to uh, get rid of. All right, so that'll be nice. Some antique vintage looking home decor bits there. And then, you know, some kind of kids toys and bits and pieces like that. All right, we do have a rather cool all right, we do have a queen mattress and a king mattress. I think they're both memory foam, all right? Um, only a couple of years old, so they're in really great shape. Um, and a nice wrought iron bed there for the king size mattress, I think that one is. That's a king size wrought iron headboard and footboard, and you've got the frame with it as well, all right? So, tons of stuff coming out this week, all right? So, four o'clock preview, five o'clock start, 400 East Golf Atlantic Highway, which basically is State Road 44, close to the junction of 301. It's gonna be Tuesday, September the 29th. All right, bring your money, spend it.